Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. Uh, so yeah, here I am. Um, it's January. Uh, back on the epiglyc challenge, trying to get some things into control, but actually really did um, really enjoyed last week with the meal planning and prepping uh, that we did. We kind of changed things up a little bit. So anyway, I'm here. I'm going to show you a little bit about what I'm going to prepare for the week and just have set up. And then also kind of talk about what's new and could be showing up on Tuesday. Uh, so feel free to say hi, ask your questions, got any comments. Uh, love to see them. Um, and if you're watching after, of course, click the replay. And again, I'll answer any questions or comments you might be having. Um, if you can't watch it right now at 10, so totally cool. Uh, you guys get the exclusive anyways, right? The first time seeing it, you get a chance to ask the questions and also an opportunity to see a sneak peek. So first things first, um, I'm gonna get a few things going and then kind of just talk about what I'm doing uh, for the meal planning and prepping for myself and Vic. Uh, so he uh, wanted the donairs for our quick lunch for this week. So he actually picked up some like quick stir, uh, fast fry steak pieces, you know, kind of idea. So it's super fast and easy. Um, so all I'm going to really do um, is just put in our packages of the donair seasoning, uh, what I had left over from before, maybe a little bit of water just so it kind of sticks and turns into a bit of a paste. And then I'm just going to smush it all up together and make a mess because that's what I like doing. And then I'm gonna just fold it all up and put it into the multi, or not multi-purpose, the little rectangular steeper and microwave it for about five minutes to start just to keep an eye on it and then a little bit more probably. And then what ends up happening for the week is um, we can just pull it out and uh, chop it up a little bit, fry it up quickly to get the little crispy bits. So the whole thing, you know, when you have donairs, you like the little crispy bits. This way you kind of still get the crispy bits, but it's, it's fresh when you're ready. But it doesn't take as long. Not that it took long before, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's already there. You don't have to think about what you're gonna eat because it's already set up. You just literally have to pull it out, chop off a nice portion size for yourself or whoever's eating and away you go, throw it in a quick frying pan, and we're done. So then they make great for, um, so uh, like a, maybe a wrap, or even toss into a soup or a broth or something, like maybe that's what I'm kind of thinking I might do. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of uh, our lunches for a couple of days uh, set up. So there we are. basically just a bunch of fast fry steaks put into the milk or sorry the rectangular steamer I'm gonna put it in it'll take longer than five but I just want to keep an eye on it okay so the next thing was some uh, we got some tomatoes that are going so this time I'm actually going to use the multi-purpose there you go multi-purpose steamer um, and then use up some tomatoes that we have that were gone that we just didn't end up using it does happen to all of us right uh, but not to waste it so I'm just going to chop it up a bit Throw it into the multi-purpose steamer uh, for about 10 minutes or so and it should give me enough of a, a tomato sauce that I'm then going to throw into uh, the perfect petites and make uh, just have some frozen pieces we got frozen tomato sauce yeah <laughs> crushed tomatoes I guess um, so you know some of the recipes ask for the crushed tomatoes um, I, I can um, but this is an opportunity for you to make your own uh, get some tomatoes if they're on their way out or not on their own way out, it doesn't matter. Um, and then freeze it. And then there you go. So obviously you didn't have to cook it if you don't want to, but 
This will, we're just gonna cook it a little bit just to break it down a bit and add in some seasoning. So seasonings, I'm actually gonna just use our Italian seasoning and some poco picante. Um, this was Vic's desire, because he wants a bit of spice um, along uh, with, uh, so basically having his own kind of like marinara, pizza sauce kind of idea. So that is what I'm going to do. So if you've hopped on, say hi. Say what's going on. What are you guys making today? What was your meal prepping like for this week? What are you guys making? Um, we know our new season starts on Tuesday. So, has anybody kind of thought about it? Take a guess of what might be available. What are they looking for? Anything you would love to have in the new season? Okay, so some Italian seasoning. And poca picante. use the marinara, you could use rosemary and garlic, lots of options there. So basically there we go. I'm just going to cook it for five minutes. Or so what did I say? Ten? Ten minutes I think it was going to do. Ten minutes. Turn it into a sauce, throw it into the perfect petites and then freeze it. And then when it's frozen I'll pop them all out of the perfect petites and just put them in a freezer bag and then we have perfect little two tablespoons of like crushed tomatoes, a little bit of seasoning to add into sauces, spice, or sauces or stews or anything we like. All right, so that's that. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then the other thing I was going to mention is for the rest of the week, I have a couple of options. Um, so I have chicken defrosting right now, um, enough for like uh, two separate meals. So I'm going to do one prepared or one ready for our new seasoning and one ready for some buffalo chicken wings. Uh, so Vic's been in the mood for hot. So I just literally, buffalo chicken wing seasoning. You literally just take a tablespoon to uh, two tablespoons of, of, well it says brown sugar, it says ketchup and vinegar. I don't use the brown sugar. I literally just do like a tablespoon of ketchup and then a quarter of a cup of Actually, a couple of cup. It literally depends on what you're making. So, I don't put that much sauce in it. So, literally, it's like a little bit of vinegar, maybe two tablespoons of vinegar, vinegar, ketchup, one tablespoon of this. Mix it all up, put it on into the chicken, fry it up for a little bit, and then voila, you've got um, a buffalo chicken flavored chicken, whatever buffalo wing flavored ch chicken bites <laughs> to put um, also into something like a wrap or lettuce wrap or anything like that or maybe into um, I don't know, maybe even to a stew if you wanted a little bit of spicy chicken along in that so maybe you're making the Aztec soup and you want something with a little bit of spice all right so for me that's sufficient five minutes um, because we're going to be cooking it again as we overuse it up. So what I'm just going to do is let that sit. I'm going to put it aside. And then during the week we're ready for our lunches to make a wrap. So just put it into a broth or something. We just take out of a portion, chop it all up, and fry it up for a couple minutes. And then voila. And that's kind of my thing for fast meals. Is I like... I want to make everything. I just want to make parts of things so that when it comes to lunchtime, it only takes like five minutes or so to kind of quickly pull it all together. Um, so there you go. So the literally, I now can take our whiteboard, which is kind of what I do. So we've got things like, we have the donair, and this is just a reminder. So we're gonna have the buffalo chicken. We're going to do the new seasoning here which is the uh, lettuce wraps. 
right? So then the, what, and the next thing I'll think about what we're going to make next, get down the line, but it'll be kind of what's coming next for the rest of the week will be our new seasonings that are coming available tomorrow. So anyway, that goes right onto the fridge there. Let me show you. So there's the whiteboard. It goes right there so Vic and I kind of know when we can plan um, as we're going along. And then this is the new little sneak peek I'm going to show you. It's the one I'm going to be uh, making tomorrow. Um, and I'll show you a bit that tomorrow. So it's basically here. It's just like in a large bowl It says combine seasonings with a pound of ground pork could be ground protein of any form I'm actually not going to use ground pork or ground protein. I'm going to actually just use little chicken pieces So I got piece chicken thighs. I'll chop it up into little pieces um, It's two diced bell peppers, but use whatever you like I'll probably use zucchini or something a bit of water sesame oil and soy sauce and in the wok you're just going to mix it all up and stir fry it really quickly like five minutes or you can microwave it in the epicure steamer for about five minutes and then you just that's the one and then of course you just assemble it so uh you know lettuce wraps you fill it up you put some maybe sriracha or, or um, hoisin sauce or whatever you like um, and that's pretty quick and fast so literally yeah couple minutes to put together five minutes to quickly stir fry it or microwave and then you assemble so literally a 10 minute meal um, so this is pretty awesome so if you want to know what's in it um, so there's organic tamarind powder ginger garlic organic cane juice chives and chilies and if you're interested in the nutritional value um, so there's no fiber, but there is one gram of sugar, um, and there's one gram of protein, and of course it only has 115 milligrams of sodium, so pretty cool. So there you go. So that's kind of where we're going with the week full of meals. Then let's move on, right? Let's me show you what I am going to make today that's a new seasoning. So first, oh, oh, it's luscious lemon curd. So here we go. You can make your own lemon. Um, pie filling. Um, they don't recommend it in a big pie, but in the little tarts, it's perfect. So literally, um, it makes one and a half cups of lemon filling. And you use four cup. I uh, use a four cup. Um, goodness. Use a four cup microwave bowl. Put in three eggs. Whisk it with a half a cup of water, and then um, whisk really, really well, right? And then you microwave uncovered for two minutes. Um, and as um, at one minute interval you're going to take it out and stir it and then you're just going to keep stirring it until it gets uh, going back in for 30 seconds stir back until or until you should it but it should be like two and a half two and a half minutes or so um, and then it'll be done in the end you can put in a tablespoon of butter it says and whisk it in and then you cover and refrigerate for one hour and then of course you add into your tarts or whatever it is you want to do people have done things like um, crumble so ground crackers whipping cream the curd um, and the way they go uh, so admittedly I will not be making that for you today because well let's see uh, Vic doesn't eat eggs and I don't want to waste the food so I'm actually going to try it in about two or three different versions right now just using this package making half the amount of what I need for what's going on so just so you're aware what's in here is uh, so it does have six grams of sugar per uh, one uh, tart kind of idea. So it's organic cane sugar, organic lemon powder. So it's like organic lemon juice, organic lemon oil, some cornstarch, and citrus acid. So that's what's in here. So first things first, I'm just going to open it up and pour it all into a bowl because I need it to start taking pieces that I, amounts that I want. Ooh. So that's basically what it looks like. <laughs> uh, so first things first, I'm gonna just make cream cheese icing with it. So you know, if you like lemon, um, lemon cream cheese icing. So I'm just gonna take. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do three tablespoons with a, a thing of cream cheese. Now. You use whatever kind of cream cheese you want. Not cream cheese. This is lactose because I honestly couldn't find uh, not cream cheese. I am trying to keep my dairy down to a minimum. Um, but I'll only have a little bit at a time because it's just... Okay, so I'm just going to mix it up. You could use a beater, a whisk it, whatever you like. Um, you could add in a bit of icing sugar if you wanted, a bit of butter if that's kind of your game. That's usually how they say to do it. I'm personally not someone who does any of that. I will literally just add the flavor that I want. 
Like for example, if I was doing caramel, like I've done, I would just put the caramel seasoning, I make up the caramel, put in about a uh, half a cup or so of that, and then uh, into some icing, or what we call it, cream cheese. And there we go. So let's see what, yeah, it's just me. Mm -hmm. Use a little bit more. And that would be tomatoes telling me they're ready. So that was four tablespoons. Probably is gonna need more because I forgot that I was only gonna do half a package. Yep. So we're gonna actually do six. Six tablespoons. And that should be good. Oh yeah, there we go, six tablespoons and the one package of the cream cheese. So cut down your package if you're not looking for that much and then you can cut down on that. So there we go. So lemon curd cream cheese or icing. Let's check on the tomatoes. call it a meat separator but you can use it for your veggies and stuff too so I'm just going to do it to push it down a little bit and I'm going to say that's good I think I'm happy with that and then I will just put it into the perfect petites once it cools and away we go I was actually gonna do with lemon curd was actually can you see over there yes um, is um, the power balls so if you've seen me probably make the power bliss balls before it's 12 dates and that's weird okay 12 dates <laughs> uh, half a cup of nut butter of some form or seed butter whatever it is you like half a cup of hemp hearts or some oats whatever you like um, and then two scoops of a protein powder so you can use uh, vanilla you can use chocolate whichever one you want of the ones we have which are pretty cool or your own or something I am going to use the vanilla it is back uh, it's four tablespoons of a dairy-free milk of some sort um, and then you can actually do something else with it so that's the part where I'm actually going to use uh, the lemon curd uh, for that as well so I've already started pulsing it's got the oops, wrong way. dates oats and a bit of milk. I'll probably have to put a bit more. I'm going to put the two scoops of the protein powder. And let's see. One and four scoops of the lemon. Granted, this will definitely make it more of a desserty thing, but that's okay. Whoever need more lemon in there. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what happens when you're paying attention. I put a tiny bit too much water in or milk in, so I'm going to put a bit of oats and a bit more um, of the protein powder in to kind of compensate that and pull it back to the way it's supposed to be. Me compensating. Okay, so what I was going to do oh. I'm gonna roll them. Wow, I'm I'm one hundred percent off. Alright. Some coconut. Probably a little bit much. Tutti fruity. too sticky but that's okay because I'm just going to get them to form up and then I'll throw them into the fridge to set. So I'm going to do one inside the lemon curd. So it's going to be lemony on the inside and lemony on the outside. So there we go. And then I will do one in the coconut. So live any coconut. And then we want one in the tutti frutti with a bit of coconut. <laughs> So that's those. So I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of those and have them set. And there we go. So that will be uh, the one I'm gonna use with the lemon curd. Now, um, so yeah, we've been a half an hour. I think that's pretty cool. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, if you have any questions about what's coming, uh, if you want, 
um, your own paper copy of what's coming, just DM me or send a mess or go to the, the post above about the offer. I will mail you one out. Uh, don't forget on Tuesday, uh, we have the, I'll have a watch party going, showing you what's coming at our launch. And then afterwards it goes live at three o'clock, uh, Eastern standard time. So it's, uh, noon for Pacific. So there you go. The timing, one of the website will be live. I am sure. Well, I can tell you that there is specials coming. So, um, some will be good to the whole month and some will be literally gone with maybe like an hour or two. So I totally say, Hey, if there's something you're interested in, jump on and check out. If you want me to let you know what the special is, let me know. And I can tell you, uh, right away. And then you can let me know if you want it and I can do it for you, um, and get you that special. Otherwise have a great afternoon day. Um, and yeah, if you want to have your cooking class with me, you know, that's a great opportunity for you to get lots of yummy stuff. Uh, for free um, and then you get to share it with other people so you get to help people change their plates to eat delicious like we do um, and you do um, and feel free to keep posting in my group with whatever it is you're making um, you found a recipe you adapted it uh, you epicurized it um, yeah we love seeing it we love hearing it and um and it's not just me everyone in the groups likes to see that there's different ways to use the seasoning so feel free to do that i have my way but i'd love to see your way so please feel free to share <sighs> and yeah um have an awesome day thanks everyone